Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Love and Wonders Tarot. This is your About Last Night reading where I take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using a variety of tarot decks so I will leave that information down in the description box. And as you can see I've already meditated, shuffled, and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position. So let's get started Pisces. Okay Pisces, today this card represents the overall energy between you and your person. These cards represent your person, and I have an advice card here for you as well. So the overall energy today, Pisces, is Three of Cups. So this is about someone in your friendship zone, okay? Three of Cups is about celebrating, having a good time with friends, going out, doing your thing. So you could have met this person while you were out, you know, having fun out with your friends or something like that. But this is definitely a friend of yours, someone that you know, but you consider this person to be a friend. All right. All right. These two cards represent this person's thoughts and feelings about you and this connection. So they have the hanged man. So this is another card that, or this is a card that can represent Pisces. Okay. It's a, it's a, a water card that represents the water sign. So it can represent Pisces. Um, so there's the hangman and then there's the three of pentacles. So I feel like this person is kind of shifting their thought process. Um, I feel like this is a friend who wants to move things to uh, take things to, to the next level, but um, I'm not sure if you realize this person likes you or if you know this person likes you and you're just blowing them off. But I feel like with this hangman and the three of pentacles, this person is really thinking about whether um, they want to continue to work on a connection with you, okay? And with this three of pentacles, this is about working on, you know, a connection, especially if things, if a connection is broken, um, this is about trying to fix it, coming coming together as a couple and trying to fix it. But I really think for this particular um, reading that it's about this person's, you know, double double guessing. They're, they're thinking about, well, maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't continue to pursue Pisces. You know, do I want to really work on this anymore? So I think that's what that means, Pisces. This person is thinking about, you know, it, it, the hangman is about sacrifice, sacrificing yourself um, for, the, for the greater good. So this person feels like they're sacrificing their happiness. Maybe they have other choices or um, people that like them, but they're just kind of being patient waiting on Pisces. So I feel like this person is kind of like, all right, I've hung around here for, you know, quite some time waiting for Pisces. Maybe it's time to get off this tree. Um, and, you know, again, this could also mean seeing other people take the working situation out of it, working, trying to work it out. It could mean, this is another card that represents a uh, third party situation. So, um, this person could be thinking about, you know, maybe I should be out there dating, but I really getting, I'm getting a strong feeling that it's more, uh, trying to figure out whether they want to continue to pursue this connection with you. All right. So the next two cards represents this person's intentions. They have the, uh, King of Swords and the Eight of Cups. All right. So what this is saying, Pisces, with this King of Swords, this is not the most romantic person. This is an intellectual person. This is more platonic. So I feel like your person feels like, you know what, this connection is more platonic. I've given Pisces signals and hints. They're not getting it. Pisces only wants me as a friend. It's platonic. There's no love in there. They like my conversation. Uh, Pisces, you might think that this person's smart and they, 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 have a, they hold a good conversation, but this person feels like hey, that's all you want from them just is to talk. You don't want romance. And so this person's intention is to walk away, okay? If they have the Eight of Cups, they're gonna move on. So again, Pisces, I don't know whether you are aware of this or not, or not that this person liked you, but this person, like I said, they have the hangman of the Three of Pentacles. They're thinking about, you know, whether they can wanna to continue to work on this. And I feel like, you know, they're not going to, they're gonna, with this Eight of Cups, they're gonna walk away. Yep, King of Swords, so this is all about friendships intellectual conversations, platonic situations. That's their intentions is to, they know this. And so they're gonna go ahead and walk away. Um, let's look at the obstacles. So the obstacles, uh, you have the nine of cups and the star. So I feel like these cards are kind of, both of these cards are kind of saying the same thing. As an obstacle, these are not good. If it wasn't an obstacle, it'd be wonderful, Pisces, but it, it's an obstacle. So nine of cups is about getting what you want. Um, your wish fulfillment. So that's lacking here. So um, this person feels like, you know, you don't want them. Um, they're not getting what they want out of this connection. Okay. They're not getting, it's an obstacle. Um, and the star, you know, this is about 
um, again, wishing on a star, you know, kind of being hopeful, having a lot of hope for this connection. So I feel like that's what's missing. That's the obstacle. Another thing that this star could mean, Pisces, is that maybe you personally um, have to heal. This is about healing also after a tragic situation. The card before this is the tower card. So the tower card is about total destruction. So maybe you're not ready. Maybe you were in a previous connection and you're not ready to settle down and you know you need to heal some more so that could be what the obstacle is too that maybe you're just not ready so you don't see this person in a romantic um you know sight um let's see the bottom of the deck for you pisces is the fool so this is like saying um go for it you know don't be afraid to go and experience something new and exciting okay with the fool so i feel like Maybe you do know this person likes you and you're just kind of holding back, but go ahead, you know, take a chance, take a chance on the situation. If Even if it's not this situation, you know, maybe some other situation, because again, I do feel like a block is that you need to heal from past experiences, uh, maybe past hurts, a past relationship. The bottom of the deck for your person is the page of pentacles. So this person will take their business elsewhere. This is about, an, you know, searching for a new opportunity, um, you know, in, in a romantic sense. Um, it would be someone who's more compatible with, with that person who um, can build something, you know. This person wants to start, you know, something new. That's something that's going to work out and something that gels better for them. So with this page of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, that's the bottom of the deck for your person. They're going to eventually move on and you know seek something new all right let's see what your advice card is it is the nourishment of the soul patcha karmic nourishment of the soul so this is about you know taking care of yourself and like i said i saw that here with the star card maybe there's some healing that um needs to go on with you this is about taking care of yourself physically emotionally and psychologically so maybe there is some healing that needs to be done pisces before you can move on to something and be in a committed connection again so this card is encouraging you to do that you know don't ne don't neglect yourself take care of yourself so maybe that's why this star card is here all right, so that's what I'm seeing, Pisces. You have someone in your friendship zone. This person likes you. I'm not sure if you know. I, I have a feeling that you know that they like you, but it's just moving slow for your person. They're on the fence right now. They're trying to figure out whether they want to continue to pursue you, and uh, they're thinking about moving on. We saw that King of Swords and Eight of Cups. They know that this is just platonic and there's nothing there. At least that's how they feel. So that's what I'm seeing, Pisces. But if you like this person, you better go get them. Um, you know, take a chance. Take a chance with this uh, fool. Take a chance. And you might be surprised. All right, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing today. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching my uh, video. And I wish you the best of luck and have a wonderful day.